Question number 10 is really about restrictions on log expressions. So what we have to be careful of is, first of all, restrictions must be stated on the original expression. Okay, before we do any manipulations, that restriction must be from the original expression. We need to remember some of our old restrictions are we can't divide by zero, no negatives in the square root, and we also have the log restrictions. Where the base is not equal to zero or less than or equal to zero, okay, we can't have that. Or in other words, the base must be bigger than zero, must be positive, and it can't be one. The other log restriction is to do with the argument. The argument must be positive. Okay, it can't be zero, it has to be positive. Okay, so taking a look at A, we have our our restrictions are going to be based on okay, the argument. So this argument here, this argument here must be bigger than or equal to bigger than zero. Same thing here, this must be bigger than zero. Okay, it also has to be bigger, it can't be negative, but that bigger than zero accounts for that, and this must be bigger than zero as well. So we only have one restriction here is that the x must be greater than zero. And that's a really a main restriction or main, the, the main restriction on the argument, which is the log, the argument can't be negative in a log or zero. For B, for B here, we have the same thing. We have the X can't be zero, it has to be positive. Okay, this has to be positive as well. We also have this divide by zero. However, because x can't be equal to zero, okay, we that takes care of the divide by zero as well. Okay, so we have the same things here. So x must be, x must be in this case again greater than zero. Okay, so those are my restrictions on logs. So the argument can't be negative and the base cannot be negative or one.